Honey Creek changes over time. Early on, I mentioned that Honey Creek, shown here in blue, was a fast-flowing, sparkling stream. Today, Honey Creek originates at a South 43rd Street storm sewer outfall in the city of Greenfield and flows in a northerly direction for approximately 8.8 .8 miles through Milwaukee and West Dallas until its confluence with the Menominee River in Wauwatosa. The Honey Creek watershed encompasses 11 square miles and includes portions of the communities of Greenfield, Milwaukee, Wauwatosa, and West Dallas. Channel modifications such as filling in backyards, deepening, straightening, and lighting with concrete have been made to a 7.1 miles of Honey Creek. The darker the shade of blue, the more recent the changes. The larger projects were in 1935 by the Civilian Conservation Corps to line the creek sides and bed with limestone, primarily in West Dallas, and in the 1960s when much of the bed was lined with concrete or placed underground. From the south, it looks like normal with trees and brush. Soon it is lined with concrete at I-41 and at Oklahoma Street. Here we have the McCarty Park area near 84th Street and Beloit Road. The 1937 photo shows the park in the light green border was not yet developed. The stream was still a stream. The upper right blow up of the area in the yellow oval reflects the limestone canal developed north of the future park. The lower right photo shows that Honey Creek disappears today at the north end of the park. The creek wandered through the area from Lincoln and 80th Street until it entered Honey Creek Park by 84th Street. The 1935 work of the Civilian Conservation Corps is shown here. Solid stonework with a much canalized creek running through people's backyards. This work was done to stop flooding problems. Fifty tons of land and stone was used. This photo of Honey Creek Park in 1937 shows the canalized Honey Creek. Note the object in the yellow oval. What is this? It is a 1935 stone pedestrian bridge over Honey Creek. These are current pictures. No, the creek is not green with algae. It was buried through most of West Dallas in 1965 to prevent flooding after floods continued after the 1935 project. It seems that as we pave more parking areas, we reduce the water soaking into the ground and increase the water running off and going downstream. How close was the creek to our initial church's structure location? About 90 feet away, as shown in this church's image added to the 1910 insurance map. Looking south from State Fair Park, the blue lines mark where Honey Creek flows. Several homes on the west side of 82nd Street were torn down in recent years due to flooding. The new hotel is now open in that area. The blue area indicates where the water used to be visible. The creek flows under State Fair Park in an enclosed channel that consists of three 10 by 15 foot pipes. Originally the creek basically was what is now Grandstand Street. It was moved to the infield 
and then as the Civilian Conservation Corps project further east where it was later buried. In this 1937 view of the fair's parking lot, the creek wanders around starting by the arrow going under the former railroad tracks. In 2014, work was being done to increase water storage capacity of the area. The covered part of the creek ends at these pipes. At Honey Creek Parkway, east of 84th Street and north of the power lines and the old rapid transit right-of-way, the CCC had a temporary housing complex. The picture shows manual work along the creek in 1933. In Wauwatosa, the CCC's stonework was basically to prevent washouts on curves and by bridges. The blue arrows indicate the flow of Honey Creek into the Menominee River by Wauwatosa's Hart Park. The 80-year-old work is really showing its age. In recent years, there have been tests revealing human waste in the water of Honey Creek. Overall, the Honey Creek watershed has experienced minor flooding problems, but according to University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, the biggest problem with the creek has been the ecological degradation and habitat loss due to channel modifications. The creek is still there, you just have to know where to look. Next time, we'll talk about a ministry to refugees.